Hey folks, Chihondo here, and welcome back to Captain of Industry. This is episode two. Uh, it has not been very long since episode one went up, but I was so keen to play. I'm in it already, so I haven't had a chance to see if there's been any comments or not. Uh, so hopefully, if there are, have been any comments like, oh my, what have you done? It's horrible, fix it. Uh, well, hopefully I can fix it without, <laughs> without knowing. Anyway, let's get going here. Uh, so in the first episode, we got the basic infrastructure done. We went ahead and got some basic coal, basic metals, research lab. We had just queued up this assembly building, uh, which apparently is going to help us fully build us construction parts, and later, I guess, mechanical and electronics. Um, yeah. We are researching the trading dock that the game wants us to, and we are waiting for some rain to actually have some potato. So, basically, I'm still just following the tutorial, which hopefully won't steer me wrong. Hopefully. There we go. Okay, so this does explain something I had thought about back here. So when things have multiple recipes, you do have to tell it which one to work on. That makes sense. Um, so clearly, given this is the only one we can do, this is the one we're going to want to do. Am I allowed? Oh, okay. But you can say do multiple ones. Okay. Fair enough, it just isn't going to default to on like those ones did. Fair enough. Okay. Yes, I did that, thank you. Uh, so wait until you've made eight parts. Okay, we can do that. Anything to see on this one? Is it, I, think it, I imagine it's just going to be trucks driving in. It's probably not much animation on this one, I would guess. Alright, here comes a ton of wood. Wood, we definitely have lots of. We actually had trucks sitting there bored because they had nowhere to dump the wood, so that's not a problem. Bricks, I hope we have some on hand because we're not producing them yet. Yeah, so we have some on hand. Hopefully it's enough. Uh, it should be. Four of them makes four bricks, and we basically have to do that twice. So, Okay. I'm assuming we're going to trade for bricks unless it's going to have me build something soon that lets me make them. Well, whatever. We'll do it the way it asks me to. I'm, uh, I'm good with following tutorials. <laughs> Probably speed things up a bit here, because we have to wait for that to go across again. Or not. Had it already done one and I didn't catch it? Well, maybe it did. Okay, well, either way. Uh, so yes, construction is done, thank you. Maintenance, you say? Uh-huh, uh-huh. So I'm going to need a maintenance depot. Okay. And then you're going to start consuming stuff. I'm assuming it's going to have me deal with that later. Well, there's some more wood I don't need and some vehicle parts. Okay, so that's probably how you maintain the vehicles. So there's got to be, I'm assuming, maybe construction parts, or maybe there's some other parts. Maybe that's what the mechanical parts are for maintaining buildings. I'm just guessing, but it makes sense. Either way, let's have that, please. And more research to queue up. Power and maintenance. Which looks like it's there. We're going to add that to the queue. Thank you so much. build another assembly manual to build the mechanical. Okay, so you don't want me doing two things here. You want them completely separate. Okay, fair enough. Uh, you were building. No, you were not building. You were general machines. Uh, not sure if you should be close together or far apart. I'm just going to put you kind of vaguely nearby-ish. And I'm not sure, I'm sure there's particularly good layouts, and I'm sure mine is not that. <laughs> uh, unit storage. Oh, there's the trading dock. Trading's done, so let's just go in order here. So you want trading dock first. I assume this has to be near the water or possibly right on it. Okay, it just has to be near the water. Okay. Um, 
fair, I guess. Sure. And unit storage. So stores any 180 of something. Okay. Now, I wonder if that would be better near the where they're going to be used or where they're being generated. Well, this one's going to be wood, so I'm going to assume it wants to be near where we're generating the wood. I'm just going to plunk it down right there. Okay. That's building that. We're still waiting on that. Okay. Good. Have we had rain? No. Good. <laughs> you wanted to be mechanical parts, which was this one. Okay, so you're basically just going to trade in iron. Now, iron we were making here. At, uh, yep, at these metal casters. So that, at least we are generating. At least nominally. They required some... Oh, they just need the molten iron. Oh, that's right, it was this one that wanted the... Um... No? I thought somebody wanted something I only got by ripping these things apart. Didn't somebody want iron scrap? Oh yeah, it was this one, the blast furnace, in order to get the molten in the first place. Okay. Because I can see that's going to be a limiting factor at some point. Because we don't have anything, any way of getting iron. I'm assuming we're going to have mines at some point. I'm assuming there's going to be iron available. I'm assuming it would make sense. There we go. That's a trading dock done. I'm assuming you're going to tell me how to use it shortly. Our unit storage appears to be done. You are going to be wood. Oh, okay, so you can even decide how much you're storing. I guess if you have multiple, you could want, you know, I want so many over here, so many over there. No, that makes absolute sense, and I like it. And basically just wait till they drop off 40 wood, which should not take long, because we have tons sitting in the trucks. I probably had marked... This is probably way too much. Too much wood, but that's all right. Okay, I can see, I don't know if it's clear going to be clear in the YouTube video or not, but I can see rain. So yes, we have potatoes started. Excellent. Okay. So finally that mission can keep going. How do we do? That was... Oh yeah, trading dock was done. Thank you. So that was the power. Oh, okay. Diesel generator. That's good. I was a little concerned. I mean, we have lots of fuel, but like all these trucks are going to be burning through that pretty quick. So a diesel generator of some kind will be very good. Well, oh, okay. I'm going out of order. I didn't know which button was which. Anyway, we need one of each, so a maintenance depot. Uh, does this need to be specifically near? Do you just need parts and electronics and you just produce a maintenance, which I guess we'll treat as a part. So it probably doesn't matter too much where this goes. I was wondering if it had some kind of like radius, like I only repair buildings in a certain area or something, but it doesn't look like that's the case. So I think we'll just kind of plunk it up here somewhere. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't terribly matter, I don't think. How about right there? And the diesel generator. Oh, you're not generating diesel. You're a generator, like a power generator that burns diesel. Ah, I was completely backwards. All right. Uh, so actually, that's going to make our diesel situation worse, but we're going to need power, so that's fine. Now, that air pollution, is that the same as we throw off here at the smokestack, or is that something else? So I assume that I need that to go out a smokestack, so either I can build it to the same one, or I could build a second smokestack somewhere. I think for now, I'm going to let it use the same one. Or is it, ha oh no, it's not even showing it wants to, so it must have its own. Okay. In that case, uh, it doesn't really need to be here then. I guess we'll plunk it out away. 
kind of want to keep the pollution at least a few squares away from the city, so... Why don't we plunk you... Uh, there. Again, that may not be a great spot for it, but... We'll go with that. Alright, so wood is halfway done. Just waiting on those to build. The farm is going. And apparently it takes three months to grow. Fair enough. Oh yeah, you can see they want power already for something. I'm assuming... Yeah, the maintenance depot. Understandable. I'm surprised I don't have to build, like, power lines. Unless that's something it's going to tell me about in a minute. But maybe it just abstracts it. Basically, you have power, and then it just becomes available for whoever needs it without explicitly having to build lines like you would in, say, Factorio, where you have to build the power poles. Okay, fair enough. You see how they're using that wood, so of course it's going in and then probably being taken out. Anyway, food is done. Our potatoes are all done. We can collect, and they're just going to give me even more. Thank you very much. And some construction parts. Marvelous. And our maintenance is done, so that's some electronics and some more parts. Excellent. Good. I'd say we got this game nailed. <laughs> Uh, I don't in the slightest measure consider the game nailed at this point, but I think we're doing all right. Uh, I notice though it's not telling me what it thinks would be a good research to do next, which I do find a little concerning, but... Uh, so bricks production sounds like something we're going to want. Well, I mean, technically we're going to want all this eventually, but... What these tools give us? Okay, I have, so I can you, oh, interesting. I have to research the ability to use these. That is strange, but fair enough. Um, mining, yes. Mining sounds like something we're going to need. Because I'm assuming that the bricks are going to be wanting, well, I just want dirt and coal. So what do I need the rocks for? Interesting. Well, I'm sure I want them at some point, and it is a requisite, so I kind of have to do it, but bizarre that that doesn't seem to apply to this. Okay, well, either way, let us work on vehicles and mining. Sounds good to me. Okay, so you are burning through our diesel. We have tons of excess power. I do wonder, is this burning at the same rate because it's not being used, or is this like a, a fixed rate? I'm going to guess it's a fixed rate regardless of how much you actually use. Would be my guess, anyway. Okay, so you would like me just to buy bricks for now. Purchase bricks from the village on the world map. Let's tab. Okay, so that's us, so that's got to be the village. It wanted me to buy bricks for wood, so I guess you. ka -ching. okay. Huh. You can even pay them to like us. Neat, okay. Back, good. Done, and then you give me more bricks anyway. Sounds good. Population and unity, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, edicts or something. Okay, whatever. Uh, unity. Okay, so that's happiness. It had something to do with research, too. I saw that. But... All right, well, whatever. We'll figure it out. Oh, now we actually have stuff again. Oh, you actually wanted me to research beacons, so I went out of order. That's fine. You wanted this done at some point anyway, so it's fine. Enable the iron recipe in the iron ore in the blast furnace. So I don't have that yet. Probably I have to wait for that. Fair enough. Okay. 
And we'll let them go ahead and do that research. In the meantime, build housing attached to the existing housing. Fair enough. Housing. More housing. Ah, I see. Okay, so I've kind of scuppered growth in a lot of ways. I guess we're growing mostly up and to the right then. Alright, fair enough. Well, let's start with something's in the way. Really? What is in the way? Surely it's not like these flowers. So it could be that tree? Is that what you're upset about? Is it seriously this one tree? Okay, goodbye, one single tree. I don't know if that is what the problem is, but I'm just gonna let them rip that apart and we'll see. Having said that, they probably won't get to it because this guy's gonna be super busy. Okay, change of plan, we're gonna not do that. Uh, how do I, oh, right click, okay. Instead, we'll just build to the side. Let's go left first. Yeah, I really scuppered this, so. Hopefully I can build a second settlement at some point, or I'm going to have to basically rip all these trees out in order to give myself room to grow up and around. Well, that's what I was talking about when I said uh, mistakes might be made. <laughs> anyway, well that built really fast. That built really fast. Okay. So you can build tons and tons of houses faster than you can do basic research. Alright, fair enough, good to know. So I guess we'll just accelerate even more. Until we get this research done. There's probably stuff I should be doing, but since I don't actually know, I'm gonna not do it. <laughs> How does that sound? It's increased due to lack of rotation. Well, I don't know how to rotate. I only know basic potatoes. So hopefully at some point we can sort that out. Now this is a very slow research. Or our research has gotten slower somehow. No, I think it was 3.2 before. It sounds like the same number. So this just must be a really slow research. There we go. Okay. Right, so build us a vehicle depot. Okay, so there's also a mine control tower, but you're not telling me about that yet, so I'm going to wait on that for now. For now, vehicle depot. Okay, so I can make new... Oh, I can make a new excavator. Okay. But not a new harvester. That's the one I kind of wanted, was a second tree harvester. But maybe that's a research we can get later. For now, we just need... I think we'll plunk this out of the way over here, maybe. That'll do. So once that's done, we want an excavator and two pickups. And we need to get going on beacons. Beacon, beacon, beacon. Beacon. Ah. Some more people and free loot, apparently. I like the I like the idea of free loot. Works for me. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so that's gonna be the guys that dig it all out. We're gonna need a mine control tower. And we're basically just gonna carve an area kind of like what we do with the trees and the dumping zone by designating. Makes sense. Very consistent. I don't know why we would want to change the height unless we're digging lower down. Maybe. I don't know. I don't see why we would need to do that, but I won't worry about it for right now. Vehicles accessibility. We need paths. Oh, stuff could be getting in the way. They can't drive over pipes unless I build them a little ramp. Okay. Well, I guess it's good that I kept all my pipes all together for now. I really only have pipes like right here, and that's it. But I can see later, there's, you're going to have tons of infrastructure. I can see that being a problem. I understand what it's getting at. Good, okay. 
There we go. Okay. Oh, okay. So yeah, now it's going to talk. Let me put that. But let's do this first. So we want one excavator and two pickups. Okay. So I can make another harvester, but it doesn't think I need one yet. So maybe I don't really need one yet. Fair enough. All right. So build a mine control tower near an iron ore deposit. How do I know what an iron ore deposit is? Do I have some way? Uh, is there a map overlay? No, that's just telling me height. Or do I just recognize it because it's red? Is that the idea? Am I supposed to just know these things? Oh, layers. Here we go. Okay, yes. Here we go. So we want iron. Oh. Is there a way to like shut everybody off? Alright, right in the second, only care about iron ore. Okay, so we have tons and tons of iron here, and even more over here for later. So we're gonna go here first. Is there actually a way to put these on or off all at once? Yeah, there probably is, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Anyway, so we have tons of iron ore. So build a tower somewhere vaguely near it. Uh, about there. How's that sound? Assign an excavator and a pickup to it, so I probably have to wait for it to be done being built first. I assume. Well, no, I can at least do the designation first. Oh, I didn't even notice this thing had facing. Well, I guess I kind of got away with that, sort of missing this part, but we got all this, so that's fine. All right, uh, let's just say all that. Can't start mining here, the edges are too... Oh yeah, you gotta work your way up to it, that's fine. Okay, and give us an excavator, which we haven't built yet, and two pickups. Well, the pickups we have, so you can have them, but we have to wait for the excavator to be built. How is that going? Looks like it's done. Is it seriously done like two seconds after I leave? <laughs> Fair enough. Yes, it was. Good enough. All right. So now they just want to rebuild the pickups I basically stole, but they weren't doing anything anyway. They're like literally just sitting here bored, so not a problem. And yes, we can enable that. So now they have alternate, so when this runs out, we will still be making that excellent. All right, I'd say things are going okay. I don't know if I'd say they're going spectacularly, but things are happening, things I am happy with. All right, very good. So I assume that will take a while. That'll take a while, and we know research is kind of slow. But let's let the beacon finish, and then when it's done, we'll call that for today, because I think we're running low on time. Yeah, this episode's running about the right length for what I like. I try and do 20, 25 minutes, somewhere in that neighborhood, and I think we're at around 25 minutes now, I think. I actually don't have a clock in this game. I couldn't find a mod for a clock, and the alarm, like I have a little alarm tool for my desktop, and it has a little, you know, clock overlay that I have set to be on top, and it does that for every other application I use, but this game, it's hidden. No idea why. Anyway, it's all good. So it wants us to build a beacon. Let's get that queued up. Does it matter where this goes? I mean, it's kind of a lighthouse, so you would think it should be kind of near, at least vaguely near the water. I guess technically it doesn't have to be, but I think just for aesthetics purposes, I am going to put it down here. I don't know if we're ever going to expand the trade, so maybe I'll give it a bit of room. Let's plunk it down here. All right, very good. So yeah, I think we'll go with that for today, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, like I say, I did this recording a little bit early, so you may have commented on the previous episode. I'm not sure yet, um, but if I've done anything horribly, horribly wrong, please let me know. 
or if you want to give me some hints as to what's coming up so I can be ready for them, that would be awesome too. But either way, have a good one. I'll see you next time. Bye now.